and here today to talk about hardware as a service. We call it membership. But before we dig into membership, I just want to spend a moment on the evolution of transactions. It started with a simple purchase, the exchange of currency for an item. Then payment options were added, such as credit cards. Then loan options, such as leases, were added. And then at some point, the world woke up and said, you know what, we no longer need to own devices for years past their useful life. We all have about five phones or computers, old computers at home we no longer use. That's going to be a, a thing of the past. But subscription-based services have also evolved to what we call membership. Now, membership is very similar to subscription-based products in that the customer will pay a low monthly price. However, we also bundle in services and other goods that the customer can enjoy daily or even monthly. And what that does is get the customer more sticky to your product and services. And in turn, that increases the lifetime value of your customer. We all know what it costs to bring customers in. It's very expensive. To the extent you can increase the lifetime value of your customer, you can also increase the lifetime value of your enterprise. And that's where Lift Forward comes in. We're a completely outsourced solution for membership subscription services. We do everything from checkout to fulfillment. And so let's start with checkout. I'm gonna move ahead a little bit just because we do have some video involved. And because we work with a lot of OEMs and large, and large organizations, our software supports in-store and also phone sales. However, this is a, just a depiction of how we work with one of our partners, Microsoft. We're actually embedded into the front end, and we have a white label solution, meaning that we actually host the hardware and software SKUs. So as an applicant applies, we can bring that information into our own database and use it for our underwriting. And let's spend a minute on conversion. Check out it's one thing, but conversion is very important. Now, with conversion, of course, a lot of traffic goes to the Microsoft website. But the key is, how does it actually convert? In this case, this widget is actually on one of our partner's properties, but we can work across all media properties. But we found a way to convert traffic better than just sending it to a checkout page. So we built what we call conversion funnels. And essentially, they're curated questions that customers answer as they're going through the process. And what we found that as customers answer more questions, they get more tied to the product and services. And there's intelligence in these questions also. Depending upon how they answer, different questions will come up. And this serves really two purposes. One, we take that information, we bring it in, we use it for underwriting, and two, we use it to pre-approve. So once we have enough information to pre-approve, we actually, once we send that pre-approval, we find that the conversion rate increases four times than if you just send them to an information page or a checkout page. So that's very powerful. That leads us to the application. If they go through the funnel, the application just takes five minutes. If they go through a normal process, it's about 10 minutes. But there's also intelligence in our application process. We're constantly pulling information on customers as they apply. So once we get information that we, we know we have, fields fall away that they don't have to complete and fill out. And again, we host all of the SKUs for software and hardware of our clients. So they can add software products, they can add accessories, they can add other hardware products. Underwriting, and this is key. Because we work at the point of sale, we must be able to prove in real time. And we do this with our technology. We call it Lift Score. Lift Score has APIs into about 30 data sources. We also scrape web data. This data is fed into an algorithm, and that algorithm produces a score and would tell us one of three things. Do we accept, 
do we decline? And that can be done automatically, or does it fall in the middle and we want more information? And what you're getting here is just a glimpse of our technology that our underwriters see in-house. And this portal that every applicant has allows them to do everything from one screen. So they can actually drill in, get more information here, or what was submitted. They can request more information. They can send out for documents to be signed. They can approve, deny, and even initiate shipping from here. We built technology so that our, our underwriters can go through about 500 applications per day, each underwriter. That brings us to fulfillment. We are also have an API into our client's fulfillment system, no matter what it is. So we're able to initiate shipping, we're able to track it. This information, as, long as, as well as all sales data, is fed into a dashboard that our customer has in real time. So we tell them more metrics about their customers than they normally know. They, they track sales in real time. We know what part of the country, we know what industry they're in, we know how many employees they have, and this allows us to market in real time to customers as, as well. It's very powerful. We also have accounts that each customer can come back to. And it's not your typical account where they can come back, pull, a, pull an invoice, see when the next payment is. We actually do a lot of upsell in the accounts. They can actually come back and schedule an appointment in one of the stores to get services. They can buy more software, buy more products. This is an extremely high repeat rate. And what that does, that, that feeds into the customer having a, a very good and easy experience and process. And we're already seeing that customers are staying longer, they're buying more, and thereby increasing the lifetime value of customers. It's my time. Thank you.